Okay, so the idea is that the cafe um, will have like a six meter double volume section in the front. We'll have some cool trees in there, nice and cozy. Um, and um, the, the ceiling is actually, in the double volume section, is eight meters tall, roughly. Um, so it's, it's pretty tall, a uh, long way up. The slab height has been selected for the dream to make, to make space for the dream roasting machine. Now, some of you will jump to the conclusion that you know what the dream roasting machine is very quickly. Some of you will be puzzled, but I would like you to comment. What do you think the dream roasting machine is? We're not anywhere close to being able to buy it, um, but we are making space for it, planning for the future. Under the slab in the front, we're gonna have the brew bar. You'll be able to come in like, Enjoy some slow pour overs, talk to the baristas, have experience the freezer menu, um, have some fun in the brew bar. These little windows behind me over there are the toilets. Um, the second half of the building will be the roastery with green storage at the back, like really, really tall, so double volume at the back as well. And the slab for the upstairs area kind of sits in the middle, so it's six meters in the front, double volume, six meters at the back, double volume slab in the middle, 3.5 meters to the slab, 8 plus meters to the tallest point of the building. Um, and upstairs we're going to have our offices, QC lab, training center. Um, we're going to have some climate controlled green storage under the slab, eventually probably phase 2, phase 3 of the build, um, which will come at a later stage. And yeah, just like really enjoying seeing it going up. I can't believe this is day 3 and we're this far in already. It's pretty exciting. And uh, stay tuned, man. We'll bring you lots more um, in terms of updates. And yeah, you're going to come visit. Please tell me you're coming to visit. We can't have this be like a, a white elephant, you know. Um, we're planning to be busy. Yep. Some bricks. Some bricks. Some bricks. Yeah. So we actually had like quite a few choices of bricks. This is a brick called the Nansing Common. Nansing Common. If you didn't know about bricks, I'll give you the quick lesson. So there are two brick manufacturers fairly close to us, and um, Die Fund and Nansing are the names. Both of them make a clinker, so a clinker is fired at a higher temperature, it's a more dense brick, but it's darker and it's got a lot of these burn marks. So you'll see here, these are burn marks. I don't know if okay. that's right. I'll just, just go with it, <laughs> like it's, I'm sure it's right. No, I think, I think. Some builders can correct us in the comments below. Please, please. Please teach us about bricks. So our, my understanding is that they are fired at different temperatures. Um, the hotter the brick gets, the more of those black burn marks um, they'll have so and we didn't want yeah. I don't I don't really want the building to have burn marks all over it It looks cool in some in some cases like that more traditional face brick. This is like they call this a common brick So it's like a bit softer Less red less burn marks, but we, we've seen lots of buildings um, With this style of brick and it looks really cool. So yeah, this is what we've chosen. There wasn't a like a cost benefit It was literally just the look and um, the first 10 pallets have arrived. I was like, wow, 5,000 bricks, that sounds like a lot, but it sounds like we need something like, we need 41 and a half thousand bricks to finish this project. And that's without this little wall thing that we've added. So yeah, probably 50,000 bricks. And that is 5,000. Day five. Day five. That's cool. The roof is off. The roof is off. See, by the lack of roof. How are you feeling now that your roof is gone? <laughs> we like we say we started the build, but I, we haven't really started the build. We started the demolition. So the roof's gone. 
while it's not gone, the roof sheeting will be reused, which is cool. So we're trying to reuse as much as possible and we're trying to buy materials and repurpose them as well. So we're trying to build like as green of a building as possible. Um, so all of these bricks over here will be, as many of them as possible will be cleaned up and you can actually see over there, there's a pile of, of bricks that has been, they've been cleaned already. So they'll be reused and they'll be reused over here so where these, these two like uh, makeshift sort of supports are there's a wall coming in um, and we want to match the brick like for like so um, the bricks from upstairs from the facade that's been taken down will be reused over here and if there are any extras we'll try and use them on our bar counter actually I think we're going to build a brick bar um, I'm saying I think because we haven't figured a lot of the stuff out yet like we have the general plan of what we want to do but we haven't got all the details figured out so for those of you who follow us on the gram half BTS. the roof is gone and that's how you should read it gone what first don't forget that. how cool is this Bam! <laughs> so Emmanuel, we can take it out. Don't worry about those bombings. Um, I don't know.